Hello and good afternoon everyone. Uh, welcome you all to AN Automation. Today we will try to learn about Simo Code Pro 5. So you, you need a TI portal software for installation and commissioning of <coughs> Simo Code. So at first we need to create a program. Okay. So I am creating the program simo code 3 ap18 and want to go to project view to add a simo code device okay there have already one so at first i will have to delete because i want to show you how to add or remove the simo code so at first you need to add a device then you just need to go to the control device and uh, you you can see that <coughs> see that there have soft starters and Cyrus monitoring and control device there is simo code and you can select the basic unit from here we are taking the profibus module right now for testing or you can <coughs> select this one also uh, we will select all this product little different different time to discuss about it but for the basic 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 purpose we are selecting simo code pro v pb okay it's you can change the versions from here and you can see the article information what is called as mlfb have been written here okay and <coughs> the description of the simo code pro v5 Profibus module have been showing here and you can see that it is a motor <coughs> generally motor management and control device used for simo code used for controlling and uh, controlling or operating a motor okay so you just need to click ok and you can see the wizard are automatically coming okay so you can set your applications from here what is a standard direct stutter reversing stutter molded case circuit breaker star delta stutter from here and you can select one thing and you can start parameter uh, start parameter wizard from here if you click this then you can <coughs> done this finish then you have to select what the in control in uh, operational wizard or parameter wizard the first option will there will come the field bus interface okay so what is the parameter block startup parameter block one or two so basic type for basic type we are selecting one then we have to se select next and you can see that then uh, again we have <coughs> here the operation application of your motor what is the what will be the control function of the simo code which are handling with simo code okay so click next and you can see here is a starting current and all the information are here you can see 10 ampere but it's uh, only 3 ampere module have been selected so we are giving 2 ampere which which of the class your motor we will have to select this cooling down period for how much time it will cooling down you can select unbalanced full protection how much percentage of unbalanced we are requiring generate 10% we are selecting <coughs> and for unbalance we are selecting the trip if you don't need the unbalance protection then you can deactivate it or if <coughs> you want to take this as a signal you can select this or you can select warning or you can select the trip <coughs> stall rotor for stall rotor you are select how much value you will get selecting 200% for stall rotor and we are uh, going to select this as a warning or trip anything you want then you will have to select the next and you can see that the trip level of maximum current one point, sorry 2.2 2.2 2 means 102 10 percent this is the maximum okay and you can set this same as a signal trip or deactivated you can select it as a trip <coughs> response time will be warning level will be 1 if I lower limit you can want to do 
want to take then you can say point one is uh 10 percent 100 you said 10 percent warning value and you are tripping if this motor will be below the 8 percent 12 percent will be the warning value and you can select this as a warning <coughs> operating hours you can select also the operating hours of the motor if you select as two hours after starting after, uh, after the after you start the motor automatically it will turn off uh, when two over is <coughs> completed by this motor is operational period you can select this as a warning or signal okay <coughs> trip level you can accept the trip also and after this parameterization you will have to select the finish for finishing it so after selecting the parameter you will have to go there for this view about the marking plant identifier article number short code and you can see all parameter situation is like that there are many options like this this device marking field bus interface you can change the node id of your <coughs> simo code module then you can configure it <coughs> thermistor if there have a motor thermistor you can done uh, by, um, you can configure it by clicking here initialization module if, if you have a initialization module you can key click here and you can change the application from here then the motor protection you can set the motor protection limits also from here then <coughs> if the thermistor the response time and response sensor fault what you want to do it can you can say it in motor control control station can be defined here and control in control function in the type of consumer load is motor or resistive load you can define so at first we are going through the control station so there are basically two types of modes at least we need to close this to understanding you betterly you can see there are four modes generally local over two or remote mode can be selected you can select what kind of operation you are required if local to only on for this condition only on can be happen for this condition only on off or you are selecting this as a on or off this is off from start it on from locally <coughs> and off from here okay so there are so many options you can select it uh, for this H1, S2 or selecting the uh, modes you can select the auto or remote mode from here if the S1 bit is off then uh, it will be local to local mode or it will be in remote mode when both S1 and S2 will be on ok and you can see the control function not maintain command you can click off command control session off control session on you can select the off or on command from here here is the current flowing status of for your simo code uh, have been come from here you can directly parameterizing it by clicking here from status of current flowing okay and then you can see the current limit you can give here operating hours you can give and ground fault you can give for give then is trip signal or deactivate option is if you don't need the ground fault you can deactivate it <coughs> so here is the uh, output connections for the simo code have been giving here which will i uh, will later understand the code okay emergency for emergency start input what we can do watchdog time stamping everything have been giving here the logic module what kind of logic you can take everything will be here and what kind of <coughs> 
connection you, you, you want to make you can set from here okay signal conditioning there are signal conditioning input and outputs have been given in the simo code there have non volatilization volatile element non volatile element also with here <coughs> there are flashing options flickering options limit monitor limit monitor you can give the limits of the leo limit monitor then have you have will have the calculations for all calculator out for calculation output okay this kind of <coughs> parameter you can do from here from the analog uh, the parameterization part okay then you can select the operation profiles you can change your profiles i max ampere what kind of profile you want to see in your display operator panel with display in you can see here <coughs> do not display display warning for display you can select what kind of what the fault warning or displayed or not do not display warning only this display uh, fault you can select here okay after that we can go to the commissioning section where the main the diagnostic functions are here here you can see that the group for all the basic needs what to be on for start asimo code have been given here okay from here you can start stop or test or reset here reset the simo code properly then the fault and warnings options will be triggering here if the fault is executed then the, if there will be red mark or it's not then if there will be green marks here if the there have any warning or uh, the warning can be shown here showed here status information can showed here measured values you can see the live data when you are online the live data will say here <coughs> and the service data can be show here how much time the simo code is running how much time is the simo code have been start permissible start value what is the permissible start value <coughs> error buffer in which time the buffer or error protocol have come test options commands all the systems you can see here see here okay by actual configuration you can see here have the option for clicking if any module well, clicking, um, uh, to enable a module safety and other features there have the option for dry clean dry dry running protection you have to tick it when you will online the tick option will automatically come here the thermistor or operator panel already tick but the current and voltage measurement are not ticked if you uh, select this, the overload protection parameters can also be shown here and the overload protection will <coughs> occur in the module temperature module low and analog module you can click by clicking here you can uh, add the temperature and analog module and if you need uh, the ground fault module you will sub when you are when you will be online the ground fault module already mm, came here and you just need to drop down and select the module multifunction module means is have a dido and uh, so many things uh, it's have a dido and it's also work for work as ai or AO. You, that the, the output or input can be defined by the user okay so this is called the multifunction module so if you need to install this module from here you just need to do one thing go to the hardware manual and uh, select the multifunction module and you can directly drag and drop it here okay and you can see the multifunction module digital module four inputs and two monostable relay output ground fault detection module with analog residual current detection with residual current transformer temperature module for connection of a sensor a type this type kty kty and pt types are can be used for simo code process then the mlb number is here you can select other module you can select this module for <coughs> analog module and you can select the art mod art fault module from em you can see this is the art fault module ground fault module and you can also select the temperature module from here 
and if you need to extend your DIDO then you need to go to the digital input DM mono and click here to install this only two DM mono input can be installed in a SIMO code uh, <coughs> rather than this no module can be connected you can see we are adding two numbers of digital input output module and then the th third number module we can install it we can change the operator panel also it have a it, this is the um, big screen operator window operator panel there have a small op operating display this is a, and this there is a small op okay this kind of operator more small op panel you can mount your door panel okay so basically um, we are taking this one for more reliability and showing the parameter properly we are selecting this okay so after that you can go to the charts and you can see your chart from here if you want to change anything from your chart you can click here and chart will automatically be created the default setting I have already given in the chart basically it's a CFC chart you can see the start stop function the automatic starts of function have been given here the status already transferred to the profibus module everything have been given here which have the default sorting have been come from simo code by siemens and uh, here is the controller options you can see the control station there have s1 s2 mode off on which we have seen in the parameter section have been given here in the cfc section you can select the pcs plc or dcs start stop pc start stop or operator OPD the operator panel starts off from here now you can see the extended protection option here you can select the how type how much current it will take to get trip 2.2 ampere or what is unbalanced you can change it here from here you can select the also the response facilities you can select the deactivated you can select the unbalanced installed options where which we have given to 200 percent from parameter options you can you can select it with 150 percent and you can select this as a tree for warning levels or signal so this in this way the simo code uh, logics and operation have been given uh, we can do the logics and operations uh, for a simo code device uh, we are upload a, a detailed video about it later uh, till then stay tuned and please subscribe us for more information we have also details uh, also give brief a brief description about how to make a logic and how the measurement or trace can you can get from a simo code we also we also <coughs> give a proper description of this uh, till then Thanks and goodbye. Stay tuned and 